What is up, YouTube? Spectacular Spider Grandpa coming back at you with his top 10 Tuesday, the top 10 books from last week, the day before New Comic Book Day, whatever you want to call it. Before we get into the top 10, though, I do have uh, some more books that came in the mail today from uh, my comic shop, and these were books from last week. Um, what I've been doing is which I just did. Did you guys see them covers for Wonder Woman this week? Both covers are freaking amazing. Um, what I've been doing is um, on Tuesday nights, I've been going to uh, my comic shop, and you could order. Uh, I don't know what time the orders go live. Um, I used to think it was 8 o'clock, but I'm not sure. You can go right now and order books. Um, they won't come till like, next week, but... You could guarantee yourself a, a copy of a book that uh, you want, and they do go fast. Um, so I've been doing that. I uh, just ordered a few books, the two Wonder Woman covers, something that I don't trust my comic shop, no offense to them, to get everything in. So um, last week they didn't even get books in, I had to go to my B-shop, but that's besides the point. These are the books that came in the mail today. Um, some of them I strictly got for the covers. Um, I think, yeah, all of them I got for the covers, fuck. Um, but anyway, this is a book I don't read. This is, uh, Grim Fairy Tales. Wow. Oh, sorry. Um, what is this? Uh, Grim, sorry, I'm losing my mind. Grim Fairy Tales, number 18. Um, this is an amazing, amazing cover. Hashtag Xenoscope Meat and Potatoes. Um, really love this uh, variant to Batman 51, uh, where Batman's in the rain. So I grabbed that. I wasn't sure my shop was going to get these in. Uh, this is the Life of Captain Marvel number one. Uh, not the greatest, but... Uh, I got two copies now. This one, um, we'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, this is um, Revenge of Wonderland, number one. And I really dug this cover, so uh, this chick sitting on this big fat pig right there. So I grabbed that. And uh, this awesome, awesome cover of Kick Ass, number six. And then a lot of people didn't know this was coming out last week, but uh, Injustice vs. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I'm a huge fan if you guys didn't know. Um, they had this variant cover, so I grabbed that. The only thing that would have made it better if Superman wasn't on it. But it is what it is. I grabbed that. Um, then yesterday, um, the pop from the SDCC shared exclusives that I wanted the most out of the whole fucking thing. Um, I didn't get on uh, Friday. Uh, well, my wife and Amanda, you know, they didn't, they didn't find it. So I had to resort to eBay. I did pay a little bit more for it. But it's in my co collection now. It arrived safe, safely in a pop protector. This is pop number 801. Um, that's from Masters of the Universe, uh, Stinkor, um, he scented, uh, I did open it to see what the smell would be like, um, it kind of smells like pine soul, um, so yeah, so happy to have this one, I would love to get my hands on a Ram Man, but the prices on eBay, uh, right now are more than I'm willing to pay, I'm talking like $150, $200, so, Anyone got an extra RAM, man? <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so got him. Um, those of you who follow me on Facebook, both my personal channel and the Blast of the Stash Hit Facebook uh, group, uh, know that my daughter has recently moved out, um, and I have taken over her room. I'm moving um, most of my Funko Pops upstairs. You can check out pictures of that on the Blast Under Stash webpage. I am far from done. And um, I'm not moving all my Funkos up there, but uh, ones I've had boxed up for a while. Like, if you could see in the background, I'm not going to move any of that. 
Um, I got a pretty cool Spider-Man uh, set going on downstairs here. Uh, it's got the Mike Zek autograph that uh, Trinity Comics Jeremy sent me. And I got that frame and all my Spider-Man, the good Spider-Man pops are sitting around it. Like, I'm not going to move that, but um, you can see over right here all my Masters of the Universe stuff. So stuff like that I'm going to keep down here. Um, but uh, a lot of my stuff, go check out the pictures. You're supposed to be uh, part of our uh, Blast of the Stash at, uh, Facebook group anyway. So, um once it's all said and done, I'll do a room tour upstairs and uh, show you my 801 Funko Pops. Well, 801 ain't going to be up there, but you don't fucking know what I'm saying. But the reason why we're all here, um, probably because you're bored and got nothing else to do, so you're watching my ugly mug. But uh, top 10 books of the week, I did not read a lot of books. In fact, I included Die, Die, Die in this list because um, I read it this week um so getting right to it uh worst pick of the week also my cover of the week which is hulk you be immortal hulk number three um awesome cover uh like drew pointed out this cover was so good he wanted to read it read it i started reading it and the art is so bad it's it, it the art changes like every um, two pages and it's not good art it's horrible art and it just made me want to stop reading I it's people's different takes on the Hulk so they drew them different and I just did not feel this book this week I love the first two issues I love the darker version of the Hulk not this issue so this is my worst pick of the week also my cover of the week um Next, uh, so since I didn't have 10 books, um, this will be my eighth pick of the week. And my eighth pick of the week is actually Die, Die, Die. Um, very violent, awesome, but cutting noses off and stuff. But uh, I didn't care for the story so much. So it's only my eighth pick. Um, very bottom. Not my thing, but uh, I love the ultra violence. If you like ultra violence, this might be right up your alley. Uh, next book is my seventh pick of the week, and that's Batman 51. I just showed that variant cover. Um, did not care for this as well. Uh, was hoping there was more of uh, a fallout from the wedding, but there wasn't. Batman has jury duty, and he's all pissed off. Didn't care for it. So, Batman 51, uh, seventh pick of the week. Uh, sixth pick of the week goes to The Life of Captain Marvel, number one. Basically, no action. Uh, we find out she had daddy issues. Uh, she has some turmoil, turmoil with her brother and her mother, and she's staying at home doing whatever. Nobody cares about that shit. Um, I want to see Captain Marvel blowing holes through frickin' uh, a scroll asshole or something. So, but, so, yeah, I did not care for this either. I don't think any of the Blast of the Stash crew did. Um, fifth pick of the week goes to Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man, um, ending up, ending the story with all that tinker bullshit, um, don't read this. Go read the new Amazing Spider-Man. Um, this is crap compared to that. So not a lot of great books so far. Um, fourth pick of the week. We're starting to get into the good books now. X-Men Red. Um, awesome stuff. With I can never remember this guy's name. Um, Jean Grey led team. Uh, probably one of the better X-Men books. Um, plus you get Honey Badger. And, you know, Mary Jane Award this week goes to Honey Badger for making any comic book better. You could have put Honey Badger in that Hulk, and I would have loved it. Uh, you could put Honey Badger in the Superman comic books, and I would have loved them. Um, I really don't want uh, a Honey Badger solo series, because I think it will be too much. Uh, but I wouldn't love a Honey Badger Funko Pop. 
make that shit happen. Um, that was my fourth pick of the week. Third pick of the week goes to uh, Infinity Countdown. Um, uh, good things are going to come out of this. We're getting Thanos in, in the picture. I think Infinity, what's it, Prime comes out tomorrow. Um, I just ordered a Thanos variant. There's a pretty awesome one where he's um, actually walking on uh, skulls and skeletons. Uh, that one was sold out already, so didn't get that one. Um, this is pretty good for what it is. Third pick of the week. Uh, second pick of the week goes to Old Man Hawkeye. Uh, this uh, goes into the past, his last mission with the Avengers. Um, teaming up with the Thunderbolts to take on all, all the villains. And a lot of people die. And Old Man Hawkeye's been good since issue one. So if you haven't been reading that, pick it up and trade, I guess. Awesome stuff. Pick of the week, if you haven't guessed, it was my pick of the week on Blast or Stash It. My Masters of the Universe versus uh, Injustice versus Masters of the Universe. Um, basically, uh, I, fe I felt that you had to play the Injustice game to read the books and read the, like, um, the Masters of the Universe versus Thundercats books, the previous Masters of the Universe books, to get some kind of idea of what's going on in this. Um, the people of Eternity, I want Faker back on the throne uh, because he was doing good things for them. He was making things happen. And uh, Prince Adam and or he Man's all butthurt about it. Uh, he gets captured by the DC people and they tell him they need him help, his help. Of against uh, Superman who's using Brainiac stuff. You, you had to play the games for all that. And uh, Zodiac actually um, uh, gets attacked by Darkseid at the end. So looking forward to more of this. Pick of the week right here. Injustice versus Masters of the Universe. So that is my pick of the week. Cover goes to uh, the Hulk. Um, Mary Jane Award goes to Honey Badger this week for making any comic book better. And the worst pick of the week was also that Hulk number three. Um, what else? What else? What else? That is it. Tomorrow is new comic book day. Um, I don't think I'm getting a lot tomorrow either. Uh, didn't look like a big week. I was just checking it out. Like I said, uh, last of the stash it this uh, Sunday night. Come hang out with us. Um, those of you who won the Blast of the Stash It, um, would you rather contest? Uh, your boxes should be coming to you in a week. Uh, some of you already got them. Um, we do ask that you uh, make a video of your unboxing, and uh, we appreciate all your entries. Um, I know Sean, Sean Bernier, got his box, but he is out of town, so he will do an unboxing video, he said, when he gets back. Um, that being said, I'm going to get off here, watch some uh, Monday Night Raw from yesterday. So, y'all be kind to one another. <laughs>